So we have a new update available for Rising OS. Another new update, basically. It's been third update as far as I know of Rising OS. And yes, as expectedly, there are some new changes available with this new update. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. I'm going to show you some of the great things about Rising OS latest version. This is having the latest security patch of November 2024. And this is another beta, although it's not stable yet, definitely. But some of the things which uh, I will show you in this one is like this AI assistant. I was able to use it somehow and yes, by swiping down the two fingers, you'll be able to enable this thing. So I tried, I just told him to search for this. I, will, I just told him, I just told this bot to open the settings app and it was able to do it. Other than else, I just tried some of the few tasks, it was okay. Then I asked some things about, some queries about internet things and things were doing good so far. So yes, it looks good. You just have to enable it in the settings options and also you have to put your Gemini API key which is available for free and you can find it on simply search Gemini key on Google, you'll find it easily. Another thing is if you move on to the quick settings panel, you will find some quick settings widgets options finally there. If you enable this quick settings widgets option, let me show you how the quick settings panel is looking like. As you can see, we have two big tiles and you also have the volume slider. We have the option for brightness slider. Although I did not found that the option to change it to the music player by swiping down, by swiping right or left. Unfortunately, it was not working for me. Maybe because of some issues or anything else because it's unofficial version. But that's completely fine because these things might go well with the upcoming updates. For now, if you take a look at some of the other things, there is nothing unique in the quick settings panel customizations for now. Another thing is the lock screen widgets are now finally back. It was already a part of Android 14. Yes, some of these features, some of these customizations are already a part of Android 14. But this is based on Android 15, so getting all these customizations, all these features with Android 15 is a very good thing. As you can see, lock screen widgets, which are inspired from Nothing OS 3.0, as far as I know, basically Nothing OS has these kind of lock screen widgets. Even some of the other OEMs also have that, and these things are present with Rising OS. Another new thing, which is actually one of the quite exciting things about this update, is the wallpaper blur feature. And this seems quite amazing one. For now, as you can see, I have applied this option so that my, my default wallpaper is blurred but for example if I try to apply any wallpaper even some of the wallpapers which are already pre-installed in this one just for an example we have rising OS 2.0 nothing 2. nothing 2a etc these wallpapers available let me try to enable this wallpaper on my device right now so as you can see we have the preview available Clicking on set wallpaper and applying it on the lock screen and home screen, it will take some time and let's see how the output will be. As you can see, it is already blurred. So as far as I know, this thing seems to be quite impressive one, especially if you apply some of the wallpapers, which looks good in the terms of blur, then you will get the better home screen customizations or better home screen UI, you can say, or even the lock screen UI. Things are looking so good by enabling this feature named as wallpaper blur available in the theming section. Another thing is available in the display color section. You will find in display engine, we have this third option, which is a new one, which was not introduced previously. Although I'm not so sure how many of you use these kind of display features, but these things are available. This is inspired by Sony's Bravia engine, which is definitely user specific if you want to use this thing or not. Other than else, other features, other options are literally same. The features which I've told you already, I made a video on almost every update of Rising OS so far. And that is why I'm here about talking about these other options available there. If you take a look at the personalized section or all these options, you will notice a lot of features are being added to the latest Rising OS Android 15. You can see some customizations, some, some theming options. You also have the shake gestures and other options. AI assistant, I've already told you. Some of the option to bypass the security things like ignore Windows secure flags and of course a no storage restrict option. Some spoofing options are definitely the part of this one. And some of these options are actually actually very good like unlimited photo storage and play integrity spoof etc quick switch in my case it is just having the quick step launcher not a pixel launcher anymore but that's okay let me check this out again later so that is it thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one we'll see you in the next one